what's up beauty crew and welcome back to my channel and if you're new hello hello so for today's video we're gonna be doing two super cute autumn slash fall designs so let's go ahead and get started as you can see I went ahead and did my clear base coat and then now I am going in with the Mia secret cover blush I'll go ahead and link everything down below so make sure you read the description for all those important links So with this thumbnail, what I'm going to be doing is we're going to be doing kind of like a cut crease with the maple leaf glitters, like the ones that are shaped like the fall leaves and stuff. We're going to be encapsulating some of those on the clear. I think this would be a super cute accent nail with like a pumpkin orange or like, I don't know, even nude and then having this, like if you didn't want to be too folly or autumn -y. Like just doing one finger with this cute little subtle accent and all the rest nude or ombre, even that would be really, really cute. But I don't know about you guys, I'm just so ready for cooler weather so I can take Chiba out for walks and let her enjoy that. Just cause the ground right now is way too hot for her little paws and I know she likes going outside and having little adventures with us. So I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited for hoodies. Yeah, I really love fall and winter season. So next, I just went ahead and took a small bead of clear that we're going to kind of use as the adhesive for the glitter. And then we're just going to stick those glitters and a little bit of gold foil throughout that clear transparent space just so we can liven it up. And you can do as much or as little as you want. It's all to your liking. One thing I did notice about these clear nail tips though, they're a little bit more on the harder side. So when you cut them, they leave that kind of like white mark. So if you don't mind it, even better. But if you do kind of care about it, just go ahead and cover it up as much as you can, either with glitter or with the other pieces of foil. Or you can even add maybe like dried flowers in there. That would be really cute too. Just like the little specks of leaves. That'd be really, really cute. So a lot of you know, and if you don't know, we are in the process of building our house and it's just so cool. Just like the whole process, you know, is exciting and everything. And I kind of wanted to like fill you guys in and take you on the journey with us. And now that they're starting to like mess with the dirt and like mess, mess with the land, <laughs> mess with the land, mess with the land and stuff. Like, I don't know. I think it'd be really cool to kind of vlog it. So let me know what you guys think of that. I'll probably do that on my second channel that I kind of want to make more of a personalized channel. And that's just going to be my Sabrina Monique one. So if you aren't following that one, make sure you subscribe to that YouTube as well. I'll leave that link down below. And I think on there, I'll do more kind of like behind the scenes and take you shopping for the new house with us. And maybe you'll even get to see the foundation of the house. You know, I'm still trying to think on what I want to do, but I know a lot of you are really excited and we're super excited. And I just love those videos on YouTube about houses, right? So might as well take you on this journey with us. Let's have some fun. But uh, yeah, anyway, back to the nail. So as you saw there, we encapsulated the full nail just so none of our glitters escape on us. And then we are going to do the fun part of file shape and buff. But before we do that, we are going to finish encapsulating this one and we are going to move on to the next design. All right, so for this nail, we are going to be using Cover Pink by Young Nails as our transition color and as our ombre color. So I'm just laying that down before I lay down my orange glitter. And this is just a Michaels Craft Glitter mixed with acrylic. 
clear acrylic and you just want to make sure that the glitters that you buy from Michaels or any other Hobby Lobby, any other craft store, you want to make sure that they are um, solvent resistant and they're not going to stain just because you don't want it to that pigment to stay on your brush because then it'll get into your monomer and then all your sets in that monomer will be the color of your liquid and it'll just stain the natural nail if you don't put that clear coat down as well. So you just wanna make sure it's like solvent resistant. I wanna say that's what it's called. Um, and then just test them out at first, you know, always do your mixes and test it out. Make sure it's not bleeding on the paper towel bleeding is just making sure there's like no excess color so you want to make sure that when you put the bead down it's not going to disperse this like extra pigment out of it basically So once we laid that glitter down, we're going to go back in with the Young Nails Cover Pink and we're going to ombre that out into the glitter to our liking. So once I have that pretty much ombre out, I'm going to go in with those leaf glitters once again and I'm just going to figure out the placement for them and that's kind of the hardest part about the whole glitters and chunky glitters is just finding a placement for them. So just keep playing with them, mess around with them, move them around a little bit and it'll come to you. So just mess with those to your liking and then you're going to encapsulate the entire nail and maybe we'll add some gold flakes in here, we'll see. So once you figure out a way to place them, we're going to go ahead and encapsulate the whole nail. So we're just taking that clear acrylic and we're kind of just sitting that bead on there and patting it out so none of the glitters move. And then it's okay if some of the glitters are kind of poking out on the side, how the red one is up there and kind of how the orange one is on the kind of like the far corner. But we're not going to worry about that too bad because if I went and encapsulated those entire things, I feel like it'll just be super bulky and doing a lot of unnecessary filing. So I'm just going to make sure that the nail underneath the glitter right there is at least built, which is why I'm patting it underneath. And then we'll just go ahead and file off whatever is sticking out. Just so the glitter blends better into the nail. Now once you've encapsulated the nail to your liking, we are going to go do the fun part of the file shape and buffing. And now time for the top coat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. And if you want to follow us on our house journey and just a little bit on the behind the scenes and know a little bit more about our life, you can go ahead and follow the Sabrina Monique channel that I have. I'll leave that link down below also. And if you're new, hello, hello. I hope you join our family. I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you, beauty crew. Bye.